Hey George, Network Marketing Magazine subscribers. Hope you've had a great month. Uh, there's absolutely no doubt that network marketing is all about luck. Luck. There's no question about that. But not in the way that most people think about it. When I talk about luck, this is the acronym. Laboring. Okay, well that knocks out 70% of the people right there. Laboring. Luck stands for laboring under correct knowledge. So the start stops most people that join your team. They cannot get their business launched. They cannot get the focus, the emotion, the energy to go into the marketplace and do the activities that will ultimately produce results. The start stops most people. And as leaders, we have to give them at least a launch process to give them a chance to have success, to get their business off the ground. You know, we can no longer as an industry give people the go sick them training program because most people will go sick them. They'll talk to two or three people. They talk way too much. Uh, they don't get positive reaction and then they're done. They shut down emotionally and psychologically. Maybe they're still hanging out on your conference calls or your webinars, but really they got cooked in the squad, as Zig Ziglar would say, before they ever even started. Because, you know, it just kind of is what it is. It's a very predictable business. So people have to be willing to work. That's the number one thing you're looking for. And then we as leaders, have to increase their odds for success by giving them a launch process that will really help them get something going, get off the ground and start moving forward. So luck is laboring under and the, the word under. See, in today's entrepreneurial mindset, mentality, revolution that's happening around the world, uh, most people have a unbelievable sense of false pride. Uh, oh, I can go do this. I, and and they, they don't know how to, how to get plugged in from a, from, to mentorship. They, they, they think that they're expected to go into the marketplace with the skills and mindsets they enter the marketplace with and produce results doesn't happen we all know that they've been around for a while but a lot of people in today's world where everybody seems to be looking for their 15 minutes of fame have a real problem uh, being under any type of mentorship you know managers learn from professors entrepreneurs learn from mentors as many of you I'm sure that's where you've gotten your knowledge from mentorship and you have to you have to figure out does this person will they take direction are they going to go out there and try to reinvent the wheel so laboring under correct knowledge and what is correct knowledge what is really correct knowledge uh, six figure earners in network marketing are a dime a dozen and if somebody's become a six figure earner in this profession then granted, they've accomplished more than 99% of the people that ever enter this business model. They've worked hard, they've accomplished something. But you know, six-figure earners in the real estate market, insurance sales, whatever you wanna think about, most people that go to school, get their real estate license, never list their first home. Most people that go to school, get licensed to sell insurance, never sell their first policy. So it just kinda is what it is but laboring under correct knowledge. And I, I'm amazed how many people in this profession think, well, I'm gonna learn from this person because they, they, they've created a full-time income. It, it, it's fascinating to me. If I wanted to become a real estate broker, I would go to every broker in my community and say one thing, how many brokers have you trained? Can I get their names? And then I would go to those people and I'd say, how many brokers have you trained? And I'd get their names. Because in network marketing, your long-term income 
has nothing to do with you because a lot of people enter this profession with transferable skills maybe from another business or something that they've done in the past they come into this profession with an extra dose of something it might be work ethic mindset credibility in the community and so on and so forth but that in and of itself can never be duplicated so yes some people can go into the industry three percent of the population with what they enter the industry with and create success full-time income but for me the way I've always looked at it and what I believe it's not about what any individual can do it's about the development of a team your long-term income long-term is in direct proportion to the number of leaders that you develop on your team homegrown leadership is what moves organizations and companies forward and unfortunately in this profession we have a lot of people that got to a full-time position with what they enter the industry with and they really don't understand what the 27 percenters really need 70 percent of the people are going to die broke i'm not going to help them you're not going to help them the network marketing business model is not three percent get out of my way i can take my transferable skills and get something off the ground and they can but it's the companies and the leaders that understand that wealth is created billion dollar companies are created when you can focus on developing those 27 percenters good honest hard-working people that just need proper proper direction laboring under correct knowledge correct knowledge uh, so luck is required to build this business but my definition of luck again is laboring under correct knowledge and before I let you go that's one of the reasons I'm so fired up about the 27 percent or success app that the network marketing magazine is getting ready to introduce uh, I think it's going to make a major major impact on organizations and companies uh, within this industry around the world because because so many people they get to a full-time situation and they don't really understand what those 27 percenters need I do because I will I was one I mean I know what it is to have a lot of frustration and doubt and want to quit every single day your first three years in this profession and learning not through osmosis as much as uh, on purpose systematically learning how to get a business launched how to create customers and create a, a customer retention program understanding that recruiting is a process not an event that there's two steps create curiosity let them hear the whole story everything is very intentional and very systemized in the 27 percent success club because that's what most of the people on your team need so leaders i hope this is giving you something to think about i hope you guys have an awesome month and i'll talk to you next month on the next issue of the mom uh what is it called network <laughs> the network marketing magazine you guys have a great one